bullfrogs everywhere. Look at them all. Bullfrogs. So many bullfrogs. <laughs> Goodness gracious, are you lot happy or something? Yes. Is this just thrilling? All the water. Oh, this is so wonderful. I know it's rough on the people of Mozambique, but look at this. Um, now, I think it's Lestat, Dave, am I? Lestat? Aha, uh -huh. Lestat, you wanted to know if there is more chance of seeing bullfrogs this morning. Oh, 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 we've got some, we've got some shenanigans happening there. Not only are we seeing more bullfrogs, but we're seeing bullfrogs making other bullfrogs. Oh dear, three's a crowd, buddy. You are not welcome. No. No. <laughs> Is that it, it? It's in it. Yeah, it's in her mouth. Goodness gracious. Kids, sorry about this. Smack to the jaw. Oh goodness, he's trying to knock the male off. He's trying hard, but that male is tenacious. He's biting. They've got a, quite a powerful bite. I've, I've lost track of what's happening now. The female may or may not have abandoned ship. Oh, they're all coming in now. Oh, it's happening everywhere. <laughs> Which one's the female now? I'm confused. Is she under the water there? Oh! Well, oh, they've definitely achieved, or they had achieved, what's known as amplexus in frogs, which is where the male grips the female. However, sometimes frogs do make a mistake. Um, occasionally a male grips another male in the mating position, and you get different mating positions for different frogs. Um, generally that is, oh, he's got him down. It's a smackdown. Holding him by the shoulder. Oh dear, he's on his back. He's making a release call now. Here he is saying, I think he's trying to say I give up. He's got his entire leg in his mouth. Oh, flipped him over again. I think we've got a decided victor here. They're quite a vicious fight. I don't even know what happened to the female. Come on, buddy. Have you not realized the female's gone? She's, she's gone, she's left. Oh dear, legs thrashing. You could potentially drown him this way. Well, his face is still, his head is still above the water. This is amazing. It's got quite a sinister facial expression, Dave. Look at this. Oh, shame, let him go now. You won. Oh dear. Oh dear. He had his female. He's now let her go. And she's disappeared to the mercy of the other bullfrogs in this particular puddle. And this poor one is definitely the more disadvantaged of the two. Does anyone know any famous professional wrestlers? I have to confess, I don't. And I feel as though we need to name these two after some. Surely this is against the rules now, mister. Ouch. Oh, 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 ow, oh, shoulder wrench. He's trying to flip the other guy over. Oh, oh, released. And they're both back up. No, they're back together again. Brent said Stone Cold Steve Austin. Did I get that right, Dave? Oh, that's right. Stone Cold Steve Austin is the winner. I have no idea now which one is Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm guessing it's the one with the other frog's leg and it's still in its mouth. I have to confess, I find it a bit tricky to tell the difference between the two. He's going for the grip again. And Shviz, you say John Cena. So we've got John Cena and, what was it? Stone, Stone Cold Steve Austin. John Cena and Stone Cold Steve Austin in the arena 
and it looks as though Stone Cold Steve Austin living up to his name. <laughs> <laughs> given that he's a frog <laughs> and therefore quite cold anyway. We should have known this was going to be a ridiculous drive, Dave. <laughs> Eric, absolutely these frogs can injure each other. I would hazard to say that they could even potentially kill each other in this way. I mentioned that he could actually drown him. Um, they could also, with a dislocated leg or a dislocated shoulder, that would be of a serious disadvantage to a, you know, creature that likes to hop. And you saw earlier how that one frog was trying... Oh, it's a flip! Has John Cena turned the tables? No. Nope. No, he has not. The Stone Cold Steve has still got him by the joint. Really living up to his name there. Not a hint of mercy on that facial expression. Oh, and again, John Cena going with a flip. Has it worked? <laughs> no. Nope. Steve's still got him, I think. Quite hard to tell the difference between the two. Oh, and again. Come on, John. Push back. Now he's got him in a head... <laughs> a headlock. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. I don't actually know any of the other lines after it was a good friend of mine. Something, some couldn't understand a word he said. These two are definitely not good friends. I wonder if there's a Jeremiah somewhere in this pond. Sorry, what did Rebecca say, Kirst? Oh, did Jeremiah always drink the person's wine, I see. Look at this, Steve Austin still got him, got him by the foot. John Cena's got him in a headlock. And it's a flip again. Look at the power in those back legs. Now, yes, they can injure each other quite badly. Oh, and he's going for it. And John Cena's made his way free, but Stone Cold Steve is trying to get back in. Oh, shoulder charge. I don't know any wrestling moves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give him the chair! <laughs> it's the only thing I know. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea which one's which now. I've lost track of John and I've lost track of Steve. This is a serious battle arena. This is battle royale happening in this pond because it's actually not just, whoa, look at that. Which one's this now? I think he's done it again. Stone Cold Steve Austin's signature move, the shoulder bite. John Cena looks thoroughly unimpressed. Can hear banded rubber frogs as well while I'm watching this. So we have to try and see if we can spot one of those for you as well, since Brent did bring it up. Look at them. Come on, John. John seems to be tiring. He's got him up against the ropes now. Or is that boxing? <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Somebody who knows more about this. <laughs> Come on, John. One last desperate push with those legs. I have absolutely no idea how long this could go on for. I have a feeling a while. What confuses me is the fact that the female's now vanished. The female is gone. Whoa, whoa. And we've got some incomers. Maybe that's the female. Run, lady. John Cena's looking intently at a third party. Come on, John. John can't quite get that twist round. Oh, and he's biting. Now he's trying to go for the shoulder grab. That's copying. Oh. Oh, John Cena's got him in the head bite again. I think that's John Cena. I, I've honestly lost track. And he's turned it around. Watch those eyes. Look at the moves of these two. And this is why they train all day, folks. Yo! Whoa. And once again, Stone Cold Steve Austin shows his lack of imagination. Into the shoulder grab again, onto his back. John Cena is down once more. I think that's three of three rounds, Dave. Yeah. I 
Uh, apparently, James says that if John Cena does not make it through this battle, he would like to have it duly noted. <laughs> I just had a horrible thought about those poor tadpoles looking upon James as he dissects the the frog that hasn't made it. The sheer terror. They might never want to grow up. They'll be like Peter Pan tadpoles. Obviously, this is more serious than we're making it out to be. This is a serious life or death competition between two massive bullfrogs over females. And it shows a side of these frogs that we don't actually get to see all that frequently. John, come on, John. John is fading. Surely this is against the rules. Come on, John. Now, Dave, you want to know how big these bullfrogs are? Dave, they're large. They're about just, just smaller than the size of my hand, so definitely bigger than my palm. They probably are about that long and about that wide. So they're actually roughly, give or take, just a little bit smaller than a tennis ball, to give you the eye. No, they're about the size of a tennis ball, actually. I'd go with that, the size of a tennis ball, definitely much heavier. And of course, not quite shaped like a tennis ball, although not far off. Oh, John flipped once again, struggling to find purchase on the back, on the bottom of the waterhole, or puddle, actually is probably a more appropriate term. Come on, John. Everybody's rooting for you. Except perhaps Brent, who might be rooting for Stone Cold Steve Austin, since he did name him. And maybe James. Oh! Oh, there's still some fight left in John Cena. I really hope John Cena never finds out about this. <laughs> he could get sued. <laughs> His legs waving in the air. Oh, is this the end of an illustrious career? I'm not entirely sure. He is making sounds while this is happening, so he's making release calls, which usually... Oh! He's flipped Stone Cold Steve! He's back on his stomach again, that's good. Means he can get some purchase with his back legs. But Stone Cold seems to be now biting down on that limb. Always seems to be the left front one as well. This is a life or death battle, folks. Come on, John. John going for the bit of eye gouging there. Not really a condoned technique, but we'll let it slide here. Oh! And Stone Cold's eyes narrowed in determination. Now, what we're seeing is regularly played out in on, in times like these, where we've got these massive puddles in the road, where we've had lots and lots of rain. Hannah, they're not territorial, no. Um, so what they'll do is they will all gather together in these massive frog gatherings in order to mate. Um, and they will, the males will obviously fight with the females. Generally what will happen with most species of frogs is that you'll get them all gathered around a pond. And the reason that they call the way they do is it's called advertisement. So a male will go and call loudly uh, in order to attract a female to come and find him. And then you get what are known as the sort of the sneakier males who will move about. So they kind of, they have a personal space. I wouldn't call it a territory. They have a personal space bubble that they all gather in and then you'll get the sneaky males that will sneak in to while a male is calling oh i think john's broken free i'm gonna keep half an eye on the fight and the sneaky males will try and mate with the females without making a sound which is why sometimes male frogs end up grabbing male frogs in which case you get a very different release call this is not what's happening here this is what's happening here is you've got two males obviously competing were competing for the same female they appear to have forgotten there was a female in the first place Oh, and he's free, and I've completely lost track of who's who. I think that's... Oh, look at him puffing himself up. 
Oh, and it's a left hook to the face. I don't even know what we call that move. Someone's got someone's got someone else. I don't know who's who here, Dave. Mm -hmm. I've lost track. I bet you that's Stone Cold on the right. No, that might be Stone Cold on the right now. Come on, John. Oh. Oh, and he's down. And the victor pressing home his advantage. Oh, we're back in the water. And there we go. There's Stone Cold Steve on the right going with his signature move. Oh, this has been intense. The victor might not be as easy to think. Now, of course, what the, the bite I actually mentioned can be quite painful, and that's because the mouths of the frog have a bone inside of them that allows them to obviously catch things like insects and crush them. And that's what Stone Cold Steve is utilizing against his opponent. You can actually see it if you look closely. Apparently Brent saw it. I have to confess, I've been distracted by the the, the sheer magnitude of this fight. Who's your money on, Dave? Oh, John Cena. John Cena. Come on, John. Underdog. Well, it seems as though for now we have reached a impasse. Let us go and see which frogs Tristan has found.